Hey, 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 Uncle Mark, three string cigar box guitar, Led Zeppelin, whole lot of love. <laughs> Got G D G 42 34 24. Those are my gauges. They're wound and they're electric. And I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube, and I'll show you those settings at the end of the video. This tune is frankly really, really easy if you get the vibe. Okay? There are three different keys that I have seen Robert Plant sing this in. One is E. One is D sharp, and one is D. But where the heck is that even that? We have an open G tuning. G at the nut, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, and D. And I just look at these dots, okay? D, D sharp is in between the dots, and E is here. So there's a live version where he does it in D sharp. Um, the album version I, is either in E or D. And I sing it in D because that's as high as my range will possibly go. I cannot go any higher. So I do this in D. So in D, the notes are A and C. Going down just like so, and then I slide up. Okay, so it's a and there's this stop. So let me explain a little bit on how this this works. Because it's a down, up, down, down, up. And what I'm doing is, is I am pressing and releasing, but I'm not letting go of the strings. There's a uh, technique called raking, where you go, right? You're not quite raking, you're just going to play all three strings at the same time like so. So you press down, boom, press. That's the technique. So it's a press down hard, bang, and you see I'm using my pinky. My pinky is very, very strong. So you might want to use your third finger, but you don't want to use your first finger because then you got to hop too far. Okay, so the third is the better of the two fingers to use, if you're going to use one finger. But down, so watch how I press, and you can see it better here. So down, up a little bit, down. See how I'm pressing? So, press. Up a little bit, press. That's the technique, and uh, Jimmy Page does this really fast, this. Right? So it's 
it's a technique that you have to master and then you'll get this. This little... You can certainly do it one, three, but I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot easier if you just go first finger to pinky and keep your hand in this second position where everything on the second fret your first finger plays. Yeah, I got a boo-boo. And uh, everything on your fourth your pinky here is on that fifth fret. Just like you would go. Okay? So if you need an exercise, there it is. That's a great exercise to do. So it's... these little slides right so watch how I slide around a little bit and uh, turn your guitar up and I'll show you those settings get your gain a little bit high and you'll you'll find it works better see how I slide into that you can hear me slide around So it's speed again. So if you did it in a different key, and this is the beauty of this, I would start here and I'm playing in D. So I'm in D. So I start on A. And I, and I end up here, right? So what we're going to do is move it up to D sharp. So all we do is move a half step here and a half step here. The pattern is exactly the same. Right? The pattern stays the same. So I'm here. What if I want to play it in E? I just move everything up the pattern stays the same. And so what I do is actually look. So if I'm on E, I will start here on B. If I am on D sharp, I will start on B flat. Right? And if I'm on D, the way I play it, I'm on A. When you play this, if you do this live, no one is going to expect you to play any of the solos. That's just, it would be unexpected, and it, it's not expected. It's a given that you're not going to do it if you play this song. So my advice is to not do it at all. Okay? Being that your audience is not going to expect you to you know, they're not going to expect that. So don't do it. Just keep working with this. Shake for me, girl. And just keep working that. Just work this song just like it is. Take that riff and use it for the whole song for two and a half or three minutes and then move into another Led Zeppelin song. That's my advice on how to use this song. It's, it's really perfect for that, is that as, as you hear it and you know it, and you'll do four verses, and it's really fast and done. Just move it into another song, and all of a sudden you don't have to worry about soloing, you don't have to worry about anything, you can just play that classic riff, have a ton of fun with it, your audience will have a ton of fun with it, and they'll still be blown away by the fact that you're playing Led Zeppelin on a three-string freaking guitar. Okay, so that's my advice, and that's how I'm going to do it when I do this live, is use it like 
Uh, I saw Led Zeppelin in 77 uh, three or four or five or six times. And so they played rock and roll like that. They did the... Uh, right, they did that, but they did like this little short version into another tune, and it was just very cool. So use that, those types of techniques that you see classic rock bands do, especially Led Zeppelin, and take bits and pieces and move them around. That's just my way of, of doing this and solving the, solving the solo problem. Because, look... We can't be Jimmy Page on a three-string, but boy, we can have a lot of fun with these riffs. So that's just me. Thank you so much for everything you do for me, really. Thank you so much. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you for everything. I do have a Facebook page, and a bucket show is all we ask, so thanks. So these are my settings, and uh, I just wanted to show you what my settings look like because it's a little different. I'm on that Brit combo, and yes, I have a little bit of delay, but my gain is uh, getting up towards that 12 o'clock position. Also, my, my guitar is volume is, is dimed, okay? So the difference would be you get that grind. If you come back, it's not as much grind. Okay, it's more acoustic, and then it's more grind. So use that, use that uh, volume knob for this. So if you want a little acoustic tone, dime out, right? You get a more of a Rolling Stones type of Led Zeppelin type of type of uh, type of tone. So that's something to look at. Thank you so much for everything you do for me, and we'll see you again soon.